Hi guys. I've uh, decided I've got to do a bit more on this because uh, I found those handlebars in the shed. So I'm going to put these on with these Shimano Tawny shifters on there. Tawny? Turny? Tawny, I think is the correct pronunciation. Um, can't actually remember where I got those from, but as I'm doing this one up for myself, I thought I'll put something nice on there. Um, so I'm going to take this handlebar back out. Um, as soon as I can remember... Push Nemo's chair out of the way. As soon as I can remember um, where I put the hexagon keys, I think I may have tucked them in the in the um, cupboard in here. Uh, did I? Or did I? Put that lid back on here. And turn the light on. That might help. Screwdriver bits, drill bits, hexagon keys, here we go. It's, uh, I need to get my pot of screws back in here, so I'm just going to get those stacked back out of the way. I want those. I don't need light on in here now. Right. Now I believe I need a 5mm. I think that might be too small. Mm. Oh, no. Perfect size. Yeah, this one's going to be my bike. My second ride. Because I don't really, I don't know, I just, when I was, oops, when I was younger, I used to like, um, full suspension bikes, but nowadays I seem to have a, gone off. I prefer hardtails like this because the suspension is actually uh, pretty good on this. Just gonna lay that with the handlebar. Nice if I could just uh, slacken that off so I can do it all one handed but I don't think that's going to happen. And this bar's got a fair bit of weight in it. Well, that one's a, what I'm going to have to do is, uh, I suppose I could just sit there just for the moment while I get this sword. So I need two hands. Um, got the um, crank off, so I'm going to have a go at the bottom bracket in a bit as well. Right, so I've got that bolt in. Don't matter which way round I put these bolts in because they're both exactly the same, but do some tightening up of a few other bolts as well. The handlebar keeps spinning. The stem does, I mean, not the handlebar. Uh the bars there. Yep. It's about as good a position as any, so I can crank up these nuts now. Not too tight, because they're uh, aluminium stem. The problem with the aluminium is, if you over tighten them, you can thread it. Strip the threads. What's that that's turning? So I need a 6mm to go in that top. It's actually this whole bit. I, I was, weren't sure if it was this, the actual stem movement, or the adapter piece. It's the adapter piece. So what I'm going to do... 5.5, so I want the next one up. Put that in there, and hopefully... Oh yeah, that is rather loose for some... I don't know what that is. Crank that up like that for the time being. Don't think it's perfectly straight, but I can loosen the two stem bolts here and just rotate it. It'll be a lot easier. Right, that's on. 
I really can't remember what bike I took those handlebars off. Oh. Right, next job is to try and pull that bottom bracket out because it is absolutely fucked. <laughs> and I've also noticed the Duralia needs at least one guide wheel replaced. Because um, it's got teeth like needles. I don't think it matters too much, but I will replace it while I'm working on it. After all, it is going to be my machine. My second bike, because I've only got one at the moment. One mountain bike, that is. Uh, so we're getting that. I'm going to, when I next go over to Mum's, I'm going to see if Biggles has got a seat post that'll fit in there, so I'll have to measure the diameter of that. I'm not very good at measuring, so it will only be a rough, <laughs> a rough measurement. Right. Give this a clean up, I'm take those rusty nuts out and replace them. These ones for the bottle cages. I suppose you could put a bottle cage there and a, one of those small hand pumps there, or vice versa, or two bottle cages, whatever you want to do. This is, I believe, there for a luggage rack. Which I'd probably... Well, actually, I might stick it on here. Because I could stick my panniers on it. Yeah, so I think I've actually found a use for this one. Yay! I don't... If I want to put mud guards on this, I may have to put slightly... Um, shallower tars on here. Where did that come from? Ooh! That would come from Chroma! Not far from here. Night Riders. Ooh, that would have been quite a while ago because it hasn't been Night Rider for a while now. It's Pedal Revolutions. So that was that was sold quite a few years ago then. Frame is still in bloody good condition. I'm just gonna have to fight to get the uh bottom bracket out. I'm gonna need a very large washer. And my remover tool. Which, I can't remember where I put that in. <laughs> Bloody spanners broke through. That's the crank puller. What's, um, how well does this stem get clean up with that? Hmm. Yeah, let's clean them up. I might see what other stems I've got though, see if there's anything else I want to stick in there. Or on there. That'll do just for the time being. It's easy enough to change a stem. And I found one of my tools, it's not the one I want though. Ah, here's the other one. This is the one I want. This one goes on a socket, or a socket, on a ratchet tool, but um, it's not very easy to hold this one on one of these, especially if it's um, being a pain to get off. So what I'm going to do, that go in there, oh, I've got a slip ring on this side to take off, but I do need a large washer. Where's my pot of washers? I keep putting one in my toolbox downstairs and that keep disappearing. I'm sure I've got a bleeding gremlin down there that keep nicking it. No, that's that's some bolts. Nuts, I think so. Ah, washers. Here we go. We need there's a need quite a large one. We've got purple possibilities here. It might work. Let's go have a look. Sounds like my neighbour's off out again. Because uh, what I've got to do uh, is get a washer over that like that. Put the um 
bolt that holds the cranks on through that, and that'll hold this tool in place, which will leave me free to use. Oh crap! I might have to go back down to the shed to use either that large spanner or my large pipe wrench to uh, get that off. That's the last component I need to take off, actually. I may take the V-brakes off just to give them a service and a clean up. Forks up the top here needs a clean, the frame needs a clean, so that's something I can do. Um, but then, apart from that, all new cables and whatnot, I might go for a ride on it. Put some reflectors on it so it's nice and road legal. Uh, what else? I better put some lights on it as the chances are I will use it at night. I had a giant bike eight years ago and I helped a friend out with that one. He wanted one for his girlfriend. They're no longer together. But, uh, yeah, we've come back a few years. Um, that was before they had a child together as well, so, you know, a child uh, kind of for a spanner in the works of uh, uh, going on bike rides and whatnot, so. That's a bit too small. Well, the wash is the right size, but the hole's too small. I do hate that. <laughs> I'm going to better take these out. Or I'll lose them. Uh, it's another one. Perfect size. The hole is too small for the bulk. Now, I doubt if I turf the toolbox out downstairs, I will find the one I did have. It's probably not in the... Um, tray I was looking in, but may have fallen out. Right, so, I'm going to take the bolt out of this side. Ooh. This is going to be interesting. I'm going to turn the camera off just to get that off, because I'm going to need two hands, so uh, I'll be back, and uh, as soon as I've got it off, if I've got it off and whatnot, I'll <laughs> show you the aftermath, so uh, I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Um, I've got one side off. I'm now attempting to take off the drive side, which is proving pretty damn tight. Which I'm not surprised. Um, the bearings on the non-drive side don't actually look too bad. I haven't pulled the cage out. Ooh, actually. Ooh, yeah, closer inspection, I can see they've gone. Uh yeah, I definitely wouldn't trust those. They're in there on the pits as well. Um, but I've got a feeling the biggest part of the problem is this side. But this is the setup. I've got the tool on. I've got the washer. And I've got the bolt to hold all that tool in place. And then I'm using the big old pipe wrench to unscrew it. And uh, I've had to take my t-shirt off because I'm sweating. Whew. That is tough. It is coming off slowly, but it is on there pretty well. Oh, that's cold. Anyway, I'm going to crack on. I just wanted to uh, show you the actual setup before I finish getting that off. So, uh, I'll uh, be back again in a few. Well, I've got the bottom bracket off. It's uh, laid down here semi-sealed bottom bracket. The yeah, bearing cage is actually jammed in that cup, so a few of the bearings have fell out as you can see. But literally just a few tough turns after I uh, turned the camera off last, and it came out freely by hand. So I'm going to upgrade this to a fully sealed bottom bracket. I don't know, personally I think they're just more reliable and last a lot longer than caged bearings. Caged bearings just seem to be shit. Pardon the French, but I don't like using them. Um, yes, sealed bottom brackets are a bit more expensive to buy. Not overly expensive, but they're more expensive than standard caged bearings. But I intend to keep this. It's being built for myself. So, I don't mind going that extra bit to uh, 
make a reliable bike. Um, but that's the most expensive part I need to buy, unless I buy a seat post, because Biggles may not have one. I will ask him, because he's borrowed one of my um, um, tools anyway, my cassette remover tool. He's borrowed that. No. Oh, pardon me. So, next time I go over, I'll uh, hopefully get the tool back if he's done with it. And don't matter if he hasn't, because I'm not in no rush to get it back. It's not a tool I uh, frequently use. Uh, but I'll ask him if he's got a spare seat post I can buy off him or borrow off him or whatever. He'll probably let me have it, actually, knowing him. Um, but I've decided I'm going to put a baggage rack on the back of this and put my panniers on. That will actually help me a lot with shopping. So I won't have to keep buying friggin' carrier bags. Because <laughs> I could... It seems a bit pointless if I go to Sainsbury's, Sainsbury's, rather, just for one or two bits, and I've got to buy a carrier bag. I know carrier bags are only five pence, but that's still five pence I don't really need to spend if I don't have to. You know, especially when I've got the panniers downstairs that I can put on this, and the baggage rack. I've got everything I need that I can put on this, so... And that's what I'm going to do. I'm just having five minutes, so I'm just going to plan a browser-based farming game. This is quite a decent game, I'll talk about that in another video, though. much more I want to do on it today. That was the toughest job. And those jobs always have me worried because they don't always come out. I've had um, sealed and semi-sealed bottom brackets and even standard ones that just refused to come out. And I was hoping they were, because they were so tough to unscrew, I was hoping they weren't cross-threaded or anything like that. Although my brother's Trek, that's got a cross-threaded cap on the drive side. Uh, it's still working fine, so... Mm, it means the bearings may not last as long as they should, but they're lasting at the moment. Not that he uh, ever uses his Trek. That's just collecting dust in the workshop at the moment. moment. Which is a shame, because it's a nice bike. I had a giant several years ago, red and silver. This is, apart from the little red stripes on the sticker, this is a silver bike. Um, but the other one was red and silver, and that had didn't have suspension forks in the front. It just had standard rigid forks. Um, I think that was a nice bike, but uh, I'd give that to a friend because uh, he wanted one for him, or he wanted one for himself and one for his girlfriend so they can go on bike rides, but uh, then the, a child came along, so that sort of went out the window, I'm not sure what they uh, did with their bikes after that. Uh, I think all I'm going to do with this now is just, while I've got it upside down, is just clean the um, green off the frame. So it looks like it's been sitting somewhere near a tree or something with that green stuff on it. Um, I can't really do a lot apart from clean up what's here. I want to change a um, guide wheel in the drone here because, um, hopefully, at least. Well, I know at least one of them's gone. There's hardly any bloody teeth left on it. Where is it? Was it the bottom one or the top one? Oh. 
They looks like both of them. Yeah. I suppose that could be an excuse to upgrade the Dralia to something better than that one. That's usable. I've got plenty of old Dralias in my box I can pinch a couple of pulleys out of, and I actually think I've got a couple of spare pulleys loose kicking around somewhere. So, well, uh, when I've got that option there, I could either change the DM derailleur for something else, or just leave that derailleur on there, clean it up, and give it a service. I don't think it matters really <laughs> which way I do it. Um, is that just. Oh, that's just. Uh, that'll clean up quite nicely. Ah, I'll use that one. I'll just change the pulleys. I'm sure I'll find a couple up. Like I said, I've got some loose ones somewhere. I'll keep these wheels in it. Apparently, I've been told that these did come with black wheels originally. Not these wheels, but... Apparently it had black rims originally. Got quite chunky tyres on this. Then I've got the um, ah, uh, it's not too much of a problem, but it might affect the brake. If you look, the wheel is in the frame straight, but it's further over to the um, right as we look at it than the left. So there's a larger gap this side and that side. That isn't easy enough fix. Um, just by adjusting the bearing cones on the axle. Or even, I could put a smaller uh, spacer in there. In here, I could put a narrower one in, or just take the spacer off altogether. And use a nut as a spacer. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have got spacers. I've got axles that I could nick spacers off of, so... That'll just um, bring the wheel towards me because I may um, have to put a washer or something in that side, side rather than that side. Doesn't matter, I've used washers to space a wheel before. Oh, pardon me. So if I have to do that, I will. Uh, front drag is working fine. Just needs all the crap cleaned out of it. Part of the mud guard on the top there, I'll take that off. Take the rusty nuts and bolts out for the... Uh, Baggage rack and bottle holders. And uh, I think that'll do for the time being. Just get a rag and clean the green off the frame while it's upside down. Anyway, that's it for this video, little bike video. I'll do more videos as I go along with this one, but I'm not sure how frequently. Because, oh. uh, there isn't a lot I can do until next week. Today is Sunday. Sunday, 1st of November, and there isn't nothing I can do until next week. So, um, well, I'm, I, can do, I can do a video fixing that rear derailleur. That's about it. Because um, I don't have cables. I'll need to get three new cables. I can do a front brake cable piece of cake, but rear cables... And gear cables, I'm really short on spare gear cables. Duh. Pardon me. So, um... Yeah. <laughs> um, and I've decided that Saracen frame that I've got at Mum's, mm. I'll do that one up for myself as well, so I've got a mountain bike out there to go for a ride on. So I haven't got anything out at Mum's to go for a ride. Nothing decent anyway. I've got an old three-speed that I play around on. Um, but it's supposed to have an aluminium dropout for the dryer, but it hasn't got one. So I'm thinking of perhaps, possibly, with a modification to the frame, which shouldn't be too hard because it's aluminium, I might be able to modify it so a... Um, Standard Dralia will um, fit on the frame. Hopefully. That's the plan. <laughs> Stay tuned.
Uh, but that's one I will do out there. I've got to find. Uh, God say. Just got to find a pair of forks for it because they are. Um, well, you see how straight these forks are. The ones on the Saracen I've got are like over here somewhere. I don't know if the owner was um, racing down a hill or something and smacked into a parked car or did a jump somewhere and landed straight on the front wheel and bent it. But, um. <laughs> They are pretty well uh, bent. I haven't seen forks that bent for a long while. Because it's actually creased the metal. So there's no way that'll straighten up. They're rigid forks and they've actually creased the metal here somewhere. Where they've bent over, so... Um, I think it's RJ the bike guy said you can straighten forks, but... Yeah, I think that will depend on how bad they're bent. And of course, if you straighten them, they're going to be weak. So you could bang into something again and bend them again. So, personally, bent forks, whether they can be straightened or not, I'd personally swap them for another set. Anyway, I'm going to call it quits for this video, I think. So, uh, thanks a lot for watching. Thumbs up the video if you liked it. Any questions about bicycles, leave them in the comments section below and I'll answer them. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Bye. <laughs>